Peace, 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 love, and positive energy. Peace, love, and positive energy. Peace, love, and positive energy. What's up, my good people? Man, starting this at 11 11, you know, divine times and always of the great times. You dig? Oh, miss me with all the other extra stuff that people want to talk about, debate about, and all this and that. I'm really not into that anymore. Um, so, I definitely want to start off on good vibes and everything to let you guys know and, and let you guys know that um, I'm living my purpose. I I don't really, um, uh, I really can't answer certain questions that people might ask as far as like, um, why do you do this? The only thing I'm going to tell you is I'm living my purpose. I might love y'all a little bit too, but you know, I'm living my purpose. This is what I'm sent here to do. So, um, with that being said, let's see here. What's up? Just pop my face in real quick on the breaking news, you know. Remember this, this here helps blocking some of the waves. Not blocking, I'm sorry. Copper does not block the waves. Silver does. Copper only attenuates it. It balances it out. Okay. And it also helps with circulation. It does not protects you from EMF or blocks it in that particular way. It balances it. Uh, so with that being said, uh, silver is the best for blocking it. You can also have tin, um, tin foil. Do not put it on your body. Uh, high level amounts that can be absorbed into your skin. You will have a bad reaction like shortness of breath and things like that so please understand this is also for entertainment purposes only please anything that i say in here it's only for my experience and for me only you do as you please for you um, this is not to be advice or to recommend anything to you so with that being said let's get this on the road A lot of and make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. Share this information. This is information we need to get around. Our people are not talking about this information. Uh, for whatever reason, it really doesn't matter. What matters is is that somebody is saying something. That's all that matters. Somebody is saying something. You're doing your job. You're out here saying something, speaking what's going on. You're doing your job. Don't get stuck into preaching about the past. That, that, we need help right now. This has happened over a hundred years ago called the Spanish flu. When people were around walking out there with masks on. With masks on. So this is not anything new. This is definitely all a repeat. Life is nothing but a repeat. And we have to definitely understand that. Okay? So, and I can show you that real quick. I can definitely show you that. Life is nothing but a repeat. Where we at? That Cody right there. I should have jumped into that. I need to jump into that. I actually do a crypto on another spot. But let's let's see what the Spanish flu. You see what I'm saying? 
Look at that. Anti-mass meeting. <laughs> you see that? This is what people were wearing. Look at that, man. Come on, what are we doing? What are we doing here? It's nothing but a repeat. Look at this. Look at that. Did it help? This motherfucking tea is bossing. I got some, some shit in here. The deadly Spanish flu killed an estimate of 50 to 100 million people around the world. Do I believe that happened? I don't know. I wasn't born then. You know, numbers can be inflated. Influenza would infect over 45,000 people and cause death to over 3,000. So what happened back then? It, you know what? I wasn't even supposed to be jumping into this. But uh, radar technology came out around that time. And they found that radar technology was capable of making a person defecate on themselves. So that showed just how much frequency had an effect on nature because we're all a part of nature there's a hundred and two minerals everywhere in the universe it's just a hundred and two minerals as far as i know you know these meteorites come down and they say it's this that but it, it really comes down to minerals that's already here i i think I'll have to double check in that as far as the media rights. I'll have to really double check. Don't quote me on that. I'm just speaking my mind. That was my opinion. That is not a fact. Okay? The body is made up of 102 minerals. It better tell me if I click on this shit. It better fucking tell me. Oh, pop-ups. Pop-ups. I knew it. I freaking knew it. The body is made up of 110 minerals. What are the 110 minerals in the body? What? What? Is there any more minerals that I need to know about? The body is made up of 102. That's the 102 mineral list. But how many minerals are out there actually? That's what I want to know. It's a lot. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of minerals. Alright, so now that I have that correct, alright? Now that I have that correct. Alright. So we're understanding that the body is made up of 102 minerals. This is the list of uh, minerals. No, it's not. What the fuck? I guess those are the most important ones here. There we go. 
This is what the body's made up of. And what's happening is, anytime your body um, either has a deficiency um, or overabundance, and especially like the heavy metals, you will have an effect that um, can possibly have cold or flu like symptoms. So, and that is a fact. So, Trying to see where is the vitamin D that's made of out of here. I don't see it. I don't see it. Somebody explained it to me, but I'm not going to sit up here and make any false uh, presumptions of what it might be. So. Uh, but there's no such thing as vitamins as we see on this list no vitamins there's no such thing as protein on here so let's x all of that crap out but the body needs to have electricity we have carbon as we see and we have copper so uh, So let's get down to that before we even get on the site and everything. Let me just kind of put this up here first so you guys can understand. And please do not fear the information here. Your body is able to heal itself. It's able to heal itself. It is very important. This is written in any Bible book. Quran, whatever you want to look in, it is written. This is what our bodies is made perfect. This is what it's supposed to do. This I have to put this up here so you guys understand. Do not panic. Do not fear. Look at this. When I tell you this information, you're like, okay, all right, cool. Since I know my body can heal, dear, all right, what do I need to do? That's the logical way to think. Put a solution to your problem, to your health problems. I suppose to be asleep right now. It is 2.30 in the morning. So let me kind of breeze through this real quick and try to make this as fast as possible. Um, so, <clears throat> let's just kind of show you how they really look at things. Here's COVID flu. They're telling you where you're getting it from. You go into these fast foods, fast food, processed places, all the processed food, got these heavy metals and all types of stuff in it that you're putting in your body. It is really not good for you. So, I wouldn't play around. And this is on a billboard uh, in the loop. Now, I came across this um, last year. This is exposure to 5G waves leads to flu-like symptoms. Everything that people are going through right now, headaches, dizziness, nausea, skin rashes, itchy skin, burning sens skin sensation, tingling sensations, tremors, muscle spasms, muscles and joint pain, restless and legs and syndromes. And it just goes on tendonitis. It goes on and on and on and on and on. A lot of us right now is experiencing this right now. We are going through a tough time. We do not understand it. Doctors don't understand it. You see pneumonia. You can get blood clots of this. A person can increase frequency from outside of your home and kill you. I'm not even for sure at this point if it matters if you can be as uh, alkaline as fucking possible. I don't know if you can be in the best health. I don't know. 
but it has been scientifically proven that a transmitter, which is your cell phone, which is your laptops, your Wi-Fi, uh, um, it can be your microwave, it can be anything that has electrical components with transistors and batteries and has a radio frequency to it. emit radio frequency waves from it is a transmitter okay and that can send pulsating waves frequencies through your home and cause you to have problems that you are not ready for like right now on this list I am dealing with in flame sinuses If I'm a, and I've been around this computer for a couple of hours and I shouldn't be. But I'm doing this because I needed to get on here. I don't even know why. I, I don't even like you guys. I, I might. Maybe a little bit. But I got to put this message out here because it's not being done enough. Please like, share, send this off. Listen. Listen, this is about us in the future, in our children's future, in our children's children's future. We don't plan ahead. And we sit up here and we look look at people that are up, that are up and high up on the ladder. We, we try to talk them down and bring them down. They're not paying attention to us. Listen, they're, they're moving and grooving. They're in their flow. They plan ahead. They have a legacy that they're building. We can't sit up here and blame no government, no, no, no uh, um, elites, no, none of that. At this particular point in time, with all this information available to us online, the only, let me tell you, the only place for you guys to, 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 to blame and, 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 uh, uh, and really look at that person to blame is the motherfucking mirror. At this point in time, because... You have dominion over self, self-choice in your God-given birthright to research this information to, so you can find out what the fuck is going on. You can ask your heart. Your heart will tell you. It will show you. It may not, you may not hear voices, not, not really tell you like that. We're going to hear voices and shit like that. But follow the guide within you, that intuition that'll bring you to it. When you start, you ask that question, and then you start seeing the answer. Whether you're on online, YouTube, Facebook, no matter where you're at, whether someone comes to you and tells you in threes, then you know you have been manifesting things for a while. Don't ask the silly questions like. Can I win the lotto? You can. Don't get me wrong. You can ask those questions because it may just be something that you've written for yourself before you got here to to win the, to get that lottery. That might be for you. If it ain't, your intuition will definitely tell you. I'm a witness and living proof of that. Okay. All right. I've also dealt with uh, each one of these. I've I've dealt with this. Um, let me tell you. I don't know if you guys can see this, but let me see if I can try to get this. Holy shit. It's about to do some freaky shit. That's not what I was trying to do. Alright. Uh. 
how come I can't? Well, you know what? Uh, I'm not even gonna try to attempt to move this shit. Scale filtering. Man, it's whatever. So, everything on this list I've went through over the past year. Just about. I think. Right? Just about. Eye twitching. I don't have eye twitching anymore. Which is great. My shit was twitching like crazy last year. I didn't know. I just have a full, be having the full blown conversations in front of somebody that's that's looking good as fuck. Then my shit just get twitching. I'm like, oh my god, it's go this weird shit again. I'm like, no, it was the change of my diet in understanding what radiation was doing to me. This is very key and very important. I do have my pyramid that's in front of me that helps um, with negative ions to balance the energy. And I am going to tell you, Apple products is made by the government. And your iPhone, all of your Apple products emits frequency at a very high range. Your MacBook is fucking bananas. It's crazy. The high range that comes out of that. It's ridiculous. Also, just real quick, just to kind of pop in, man. Save the day. Save me, save me in Social Sundays in Chicago. In Chicago, look me up on Instagram. I jam messenger 369. I jam messenger. I J A M E S S E N G E R three six nine. We definitely get it in. We talk about a lot of good stuff. Uh, we try to make sure we bring awareness to what's going on in the community um, and also around us. So. The thing about Chicago, right? This is Chicago. trying to do oh, there we go the ones in there man I don't oh shit there we go <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I shouldn't have did that. Fuck it. it. Listen, this is the school. This is the cell tower. That's the chimney, right? I forget what school this is. So, this is what we're dealing with. This, I believe, no, this is not young. No. But this is definitely another school. This might have been Foreman. This was on the expressway. I don't want to 
stand is the this I took last year I took this in June last year I was unaware of what was happening I was completely oblivious but I took this shot. I must have was like it must have was amazing or something. I don't know. I was looking back through my photos and I was like, yo, this is crazy. I took this shot in June of last year. I just came across it now. This is the second shot. Fucking bananas. It's fucking crazy, man. Is this in Wood High School? This is definitely a high school. This is definitely looks like in Wood High School, yeah? No. What school is this? This is on Montrose. This is not in Wood High School. But there's a cell tower. This And the reason why I'm showing you guys this is because... There's a, 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 a well-known scientist named Barry Trower, and I believe I have his information in the description, uh, one of the YouTube's videos. And he speaks on how dangerous Wi-Fi in the schools, in these cell towers, is for children. Because it messes up their reproductive system for women. And for the guys is already putting their cell phone by their, by their balls, so it's messing them up. It's causing them to have ADHD, brain tumors, all types of stuff. These are the things that we're not making ourselves aware of. On top of the heavy metals, like we gotta, we gotta answer this here first before we say that there's a such thing as as a as a, as a virus. Here's a daycare in my neighborhood, right here on Division and Waller. Look at that. Just look at that. There's another. There's a there's another daycare down the street. Literally. Literally. Less than a quarter of a mile down the street. Half of a quarter of a mile. Okay? There's this good. Did I restart this? Yeah, I did. So, I'm showing you guys, this This here is the fog on December 4th. What is that? Can anybody tell me what that is? Oh, it's, it's condensing of the clouds, this, that. Did you see them? Did you did you see them hit? Did you see them hit the air earlier that day like this? Did you see them do this? Look at how they look at how they look at that. They're fucking playing tic tac toe in the air. Look at that shit. Look at that. We have the question: What? is coming out of that before we can say we're getting sick from any type of virus we have to question it and I'm going to show you that in just a moment I'm going to show you why we have to question it and if we're not questioning it then we're just we're, we're, we're only kidding ourselves we're only kidding ourselves This motherfucker OBS is irritating as fuck. Man, 
first of all, it shouldn't be having to do all this shit just to fucking see a screen. It should be shared properly, but I got to learn how to work this to the T. She just don't stop. Come outside, they steady rocking the block. Look at that. Just don't look stop. at that. Come outside, just look. They steady rocking the block. We got to question that. Do you know what? Do you know what that what what that Kim Trail is doing with the sun? Do you know that that is increasing the radiation from the sun? Do you know that it's inorganic? It's also causing because your eyes is connected to your central nervous to pretty much all the nerves in your body is connected to your whole body. When you see that, whether you're looking at the sun or not, when those rays are hitting your eyes, it's changing the frequency within your body. Now, this is just me thinking. Okay? I did not get this from anyone. But understanding frequency and the way our eyes are connected to our nervous, our, all our nerves in our body, and how people are just up and getting sick and, and being affected in ways and having headaches. Because when I go out there, that sun is extremely fucking bright. When they're doing those clouds like that. When they're not doing the clouds like that, the sun is not that bright. Okay? Just wanted to, I had to, I have to point that out to you. What's this? So, uh, man, let's get into some shit right here, man. Where's my window capture at? So we're back. So, just real quick. I'm doing better than what I was, man. This shit be getting all off centered and everything. It's just, what the fuck is this motherfucker doing? Why do I have that black one top? Oh my god, this shit here, man. Yeah, whatever, man. I'm just gonna do this right here. All right, so. Back to what I was doing here, man. All right, we're gonna get off into this real quick. So the reason why I brought up the, the clouds and everything is that we have to understand what the fuck is going on? So the Federal Avi Aviation Administration calls this contrails. What is contrails? Contrails is an aircraft condensed trail that appears as line-shaped clouds in the sky. As we see here, wow, that's what I just presented on the video. What are they made of? They're composed of ice particles that form in the exhaust of an aircraft from flying in the narrow range of altitudes an upper atmosphere several miles above the ground. Maybe a little bit higher than that, but they are easily identifiable in the sky behind the behind the jet engine aircraft at the head of the trail. Contrails can can form within a few wingspans of the aircraft behind the exhaust and can dissipate 
within a few aircraft lengths from the engine exhaust because of the lack because of the lack of available water vapor in the atmosphere. There we go. Now understand this. Regular aircrafts that carry people don't f normally fly that high to do that. <coughs> God damn, that was spicy. Excuse me. How long do they last? Because we don't need to see all the rest of that shit. Thermodynamics dynamics is controlling the factor of contrast formation described by an, by an equation that is function of the atmosphere. Whatever the fuck water contained in the atmosphere, the relative humidity is over 100%. They can, pers they can persist for long periods of time, typically a few minutes to hours, thus covering much of the sky in narrow path. And we have seen those narrow paths blow the fuck up. So... They're lying. Frequently, because mix because of mixing due to turbulence in the, in the upper atmosphere, the jet the jets broaden vertically and horizontally. Horizontal broadening can can at times cover a large portion of the sky. There we go. Depending on the amount of water vapor available in the atmosphere at cruise altitudes, resulting in contrail induced cirrus clouds. These can persist for much longer times, typically several hours, similar to an ordinary series of clouds that are composed of ice particles. So, with that being said, this goes back to what I told you guys back in September. You're going to see them during the day, and then at night, you've seen rain. This doesn't happen all the time. So, it's got to be the mixture of what they're putting in there in order to get the rain. Um, they say it's not dangerous to human. This question is often, often asked based on the misunderstanding of the so-called chemtrails, which presumably uh, present trails consist of harmful chemicals. Contrails are a type of serious clouds consisting of predominantly ice particles. <laughs> Listen to that. Contrails are a type are, are a type of serious clouds consisting of predominantly ice particles. A major proportion of the water to form these particles come from the atmosphere itself, and a small proportion of this engine exhaust. The engine exhaust contains pro uh, products of combustion. Uh, uh, wait a minute, a small portion. Yeah, I right. whatever small proportions. Of, yeah, I right. portions of the uh, engine exhaust. Engine, engine exhaust contains products of combustion of aviation fuel. There are like exhaust com composition of automobile exhaust. Lies. So, let's go to what the fuck is in this shit. Because, you know, ah, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. How does it affect the climate? Ice particles in short lived contrails will quickly evaporate, leaving behind original nucleus whose, whose, whose size. I'm sorry, will very will be very small, I'm sorry, and thus will not significantly interact with solar and thermal radiation. However, if there's a substantial amount of ambient moisture at a low temperature, further growth will ensue, resulting in formation and growth of contrail particles to the size of that of particles of natural serious clouds, resulting in reflection of sunlight. Also, because of their large size and contrary particles interact strongly with the larger wavelength thermal infrared radiation. So it's going to manipulate, is basically what it's saying, the thermal infrared radiation that is coming from the sun that gives you your vitamin D. The net effect of contrails is therefore typically one of warming with with the project with the projected increase in air traffic and contrail coverage or whatever jet fuels are a mixture of high hydrocarbons and some impurities and some impurities and some impurities and additives <laughs> definitely want to get the definition to those words so you can understand how deep that goes upon combustion 
Jet fuel produces water vapor along with oxides of carbon. Now, I'm going to stop right there because Dr. Sebi always talks about oxides. They're binding agents. Oxides is harmful. It is not natural that he claims and he says with the research because he always has his research when he speaks on things. If he does not know, he will not speak on it. It's probably why he didn't speak on radiation because he didn't know that enough, but he knew it was happening. He just didn't know how. He was an engineer. You got to know these things when you're an engineer. You have to. Oxide, phosphates. So, oxide sulfur, oxides of nitrogen, phosphates and nitrates act as nuclei for the subsequent cloud droplet growth, which ultimately form in contrail particles. Now, because this is the aviation site, I like how they break shit up because they're not. They're going to break it up to confuse you because they're not going to really tell you what's in there. Like They didn't tell you exactly everything that's in there. So, we could go to, we could go here and see what this says. This is the site. This is exactly what I need to see. Hope you guys can see that very well. I hope this is recording my voice. I would be highly fucking pissed. I mean, it's putting the input out there, so it's got to be recording my voice. So, ah, uh, let's get straight to the motherfucking shits, cause. Science global study what type of interest? Alright, here we go. Now this is how I show you how they break that shit up. Because what are contrails? Contrails are clouds form when the water vapor condenses and freezes around smart particles, aerosols. Freezes around small particles, aerosols, aerosols that exists in aircraft exhaust. Some of the water vapor comes from the air around the plane, and some is added by exhaust of the aircraft. The problem with this for me, though, is the compounding of it. It's literally 50 to 100 planes a day. That's compounding. So, exhaust of an aircraft contains both gas vapor and solid particles. Both of these are important in the formation of contrails. Some elements in the exhaust gases are not involved in contrail formation, but do constitute air pollution. Emissions include carbon dioxide, water vapor, nitrogen oxides. I have nitrogen in my kidneys right now been hard to get rid of that shit. Carbon monoxide. Uh, hydrocarbons such as methane. Personally, it's been hard to get rid of it because I have not been drinking a lot of water. So I have to be honest with that, okay? I do you you with this shit here, you have literally got to drink at least a gallon of water to flush this shit out of your system. So these binding agents that they have won't bind to you. This is why we're getting the problems we're having and they're calling it all this other stuff. We got to answer this first. We get this answered here first. When people start checking for this right here because let me tell you what happens with this though. This can dissipate very quickly when you get into the hospital and they're having you waiting in the hospital because the hospital has radiation pay, um, 
radiation protection. So when you're in, it's because of the negative ions in the hospital, it's bringing your radiation levels down, which makes the heavy metals in you subside, and it can literally pretty much go undetected. This is just my thought. Has it been proven scientifically? I do not know. But what I do know that is a fact that rate that hospital has radiation protection. They have it. They have to have it. Otherwise, people will go in there and they will fucking die because of so much radiation. So contrails are all made of the same materials and are a farm in the same way, but exists in, in different lengths of time. It's 304. I need to be asleep. I literally went to sleep around this time yesterday. And uh it's gonna be a long motherfucking day tomorrow. Just so you know, I after I get out of work, I'm going to motherfucking sleep. I do not care about my language right now. Contrails. Different from other clouds. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, they are. Contrails are human-induced clouds, which is unnatural. Since they're formed by water vapor to condensing and freezing on particles from the ex plain exhaust. And freezing on particles from plain exhaust. Contrails are always made of ice particles due to the very cold temperatures at high altitude. Other types of clouds can be formed by water vapor that condenses on particles which are presented in the atmosphere due to many sources such as volcanoes, dust storms, not specifically aircraft dust. Those clouds are sometimes made of water droplets and blah blah blah. Contrails only form at very high altitudes where the air is extremely cold. Other clouds can form very close to the ground such as fog. However. But here's the thing. It's heavy metals and all this and stuff, right? It's heavy metals, right? What goes up is definitely going to always come the fuck back down. That's what you got to know. So, we can't put it past any of this shit. Okay? This is weather manipulation. Farmers have long wished they can control the rain. And now weather manipulation, they can do just that. Okay, I better relax on this motherfucking tea. This bitch is busting. Okay, so this is what they did in Japan. They seeded the cloud. They they actually stopped the rain with the cloud seeding and shit like that. Okay. We're not even going to look at that shit right now. I was trying to find... You know, because these things can create... These things can create... Uh, they can create rain and snow. Oh, this is the dental, uh, dental amalgam. Mercury lawsuits. So anybody that has silver in, in their mouth, in your mouth, um, get your lawsuits in. This is what it does for those uh, children that's you know younger than six of age, nursing women, newborns, and for people with impaired kidney function, people with known heightened sensitivity, allergy to mercury and other components of dental amalgam. People with pre-existing neurological diseases, pregnant women in their developing fetuses, and women who are planning to become pregnant. Yeah, there you go. Smoking nicotine. Nicotine is a form of nitrogen as well. So be careful of that. So nitrogen in the sky would be uh, just, it's, it's pretty much doing the same thing to some people out here, including myself.
Yeah, so uh, let's do this real quick. Um, this is methyl mercury. This is the vapor mercury that you may not uh, see or smell. Uh, this here causes muscle weakness. This will explain when people, when they go and they say they, they, they're weak and things like that, and they, they have COVID, this is what you're experiencing. Lack of coordination movements, impairment of speech. I've known people that have gotten this vaccine that has speech impairment. So it's definitely some type of heavy metal because all, all heavy metals messes with your neurological senses. This here is going to play on your muscle weakness. Man, I think I took too much of that motherfucking tea, bro. That shit like fucking coffee juice. Like that shit. Ooh, that shit got me like. Excuse me. Okay. Mercury is a neurotoxin. How someone's health may be affected by an exposure to mercury depends on a number of factors. Former mercury, for example, methyl mercury, elemental mercury, metallic mercury. The amount of mercury in the exposure, the age of the person exposed, how long the exposure lasts, and how this person is exposed to breathing, things of that nature. So, elemental mercury, it gives you neuromuscular changes. Same thing, weakness, headaches. A lot of us are experiencing headaches. When people tell me this right off the bat, I say, hey, come and get a bio scan from me. Come and get a bio scan. Come and get the bio scan. Because this is going to test and show me what's going on in your system. Right now, everybody, a lot of people that are having these headaches, you have high radiation and high mercury. Radiation loves mercury. All right? That's in the description below. Radiation loves mercury. I am not reading this. I'm sorry. I'm not reading this. It loves mercury. So, you can definitely look at that down below. Again, we have not answered these questions. Mercury can also, and heavy metals can also cause all types of symptoms that can mimic other symptoms that we heard about. In my thought, in theory of it, all that shit is the manipulation of your cells. It is manipulating. It's causing over. It's, it's compounding and robbing. Compounding and robbing. It's duality. It's, it's, it's giving you abundance and it's taking a lot from you. That's what's happening. This is why people are getting sick. This is why people are feeling the way they are in, in, in technology. It's making it no better. Technology is causing it to happen at a faster rate. That's just a fact. It is happening at a faster rate. It's, it's making these inorganic material, minerals, bind to your system. And when that happens, you might as well forget about it. You're going to get fucked up. And that's real talk. I have to be real. Um, again, you have this dental amalgam, that silver in your mouth. You need to go get that taken care of. And then you also need to do your lawsuit. We got to stop playing around. Right now, it's treason and genocide because these people know this stuff is going on. They know this. The tech companies, they know this. The Pope talked about this back in 2015 because of greed. And for the control of the people will be in somebody else's hands and not ours. We have to start getting our own control, our own power. We have to. We have to stop letting people suffer us in with power. So, with that being said, folks, uh, I'm going to end this here. Because I am tired as fuck. I need to be asleep. Um, yeah. 
I'm about to end this here. I mean, I should just fucking leave, you know. Please do not fear the information that you hear. The body is able to heal itself. If you fear you will cause damage to your cells, you are able to tell your cells to heal you. And your cells can respond. But you have to know that. This is not about a belief. You have to know. You gotta know. So please do not fear. For all of this can be taken care of. If we just come together. Make this about love. This is about unity. This is about increasing our frequency. And going to the next level. That's what this is about. This is not about someone's putting something on you. It, I'm just mad that I wasn't taught this. But since I know that I have this information available, I can go up and look up this information for myself to understand it and help myself with it without maybe anyone. Now, if I continue to keep following liars or people that gives you misinformation, then something is wrong with me. The moment I start hearing misinformation about what I was taught in school into the churches that I went to, I said I will have to be a goddamn fool to keep following misinformation. You got to be insane. You got to be insane. If they told you that Christopher Columbus came to discover America and they tell you this motherfucker never, never stepped foot on our soil, that is misinformation. They said he came and brought blankets which got people sick and there was a Tuskegee project. That is misinformation. This man brought animals and we ate them. And we got sick. It draw. It took us. It brought us into the reality of things, and we were sick. It went straight to Adam and Eve. When Eve was in the garden, and she took the apple from man, which is the snake, which is the tree, is the man. So, this is misinformation. We were told it was snake and all this fairy tales and stuff like that. And we weren't really paying attention to decoding that word properly. No. Man put a lockdown on the woman. He locked her down like Professor X told Jean, I put a block on your mind to stop you from your full power. I got this from, from Brother We Are We Are Work on YouTube, I believe that is. When I heard him say that, because you know, I was a Professor X fan, but when I heard him say that, I said, Ho, whoa, he's absolutely correct. Man put a block on women's mind by giving her the food that was made by men. She ate it and became into knowledge of self that she can create things as well and be God or be the creator. And we can do without what, what the creator or what we actually created to heal ourselves with. Because we basically created all the plants and things that we can hit ourselves with. That's another discussion. But she decided to go against that and do inorganic shit. And start mixing things and doing things. And, and that's where the bullshit begins. So it's the misinformation that I don't follow. So this is why I can't be mad at no one. I, I don't, I, to sit up here and talk Illuminati, to sit up here and talk and follow all this bullshit and follow leaders, 
Black people always gotta have some type of fucking leader. Stand the fuck up for your goddamn self. We ain't figured that shit out yet. We don't need leaders. We need to govern ourselves. This is a republic. Not a republican. A republic. And we are, we just have gotten off to a whole different start because of misinformation. And if we keep following misinformation, if we keep following the word that has not been decoded properly to understand, then we are only fooling ourselves at the end of the day. We are fooling our fucking self. If we're not learning about that law, if we're not learning about where the fuck we come from, if we're not learning about who we are, you could send your children to all these goddamn schools and they're going to rebel against you because when they hear the fucking slavery and all the other shit that they went through and, and they hear all this bull stuff and, and you take them into, the, into, these, into these temples and... And it's hypocrisy going all over the fucking place. And they see this. And then they start taking a glimpse. And they start reading the information. That, that someone will put on their soul. Say don't read outside this information. But they're reading outside the information. They're finally learning. Who the fuck they really are. They're going to rebel against you. Because of misinformation. They know. Deep down in their intuition into themselves, the real them, that we have been giving them the same education we got. And look where the fuck most of us end up at. Looking stupid because of misinformation. And they, this is why a lot of them are lost now. Because they're fucking mad that the parents are forcing them to misinformation. Because nobody wants to fucking stand up. We don't understand what Kanye said. The new slaves. We've been fucking new slaves. We've been slave to this shit. Why? Because we sent our children to the same. 12 years of slave school. Which is a movie. 12 years of slave school. Which is a movie. 12 years of slave school. I did my children the same way. All three of them. I did. I did. Unfortunately. I didn't know any better at the time. But now I know. The one thing about me though is I didn't force church on my children. Because I knew that something was wrong there. As far as how it was being taught. That's that's what I knew. I knew how I was being taught something was wrong. Something didn't add up. I was missing something. I'm not going to say that the, that the Bible was wrong. But the way it was taught to me. After I read the Bible. I wasn't seeing what the pastor was telling me. I was seeing something completely different. Which led me to keep reading. So, with that being said, we have to stop misinforming each other. Because right now, this project that's going on right now is worse than any project of our time. It's, 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 worse, it's been worse than the, the, the Tuskegee project, to be quite 100% honest. Why? Because this shit has been going on since the to keep the the, the the Tuskegee project. This shit been going on. We've been fooled and bamboozled by misinformation because of the food. And now technology. <sighs> the chemicals. They control our Land, air, and water, and fire. The laws. They control our law. Land, air, water. 
We are made up of those things. And the fire is our carbon and copper. That's our electricity. We all come from nothing. Before there was words, before we gave, before we gave the creator a name, the creator, God, and all these other names. What was his name? Exactly. You 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 guys can say uh, Yahweh and all this other stuff that you that you want to, but again, it took a man or a woman. No, let me stop. It took a man because women is that's another conversation. But they took a man to name it, to confuse you, to give you this information once again. So with that being said, I gotta get the fuck up out of here, man. I can't do that because I gotta get up early. The dogs be on me and shit. And this shit just pray for me, y'all. Let me try to play some music tonight so I can get past this fucking humming noise and shit. Cause when I wake up, my fucking eardrums be like fucking swollen. Cause it's quiet, nothing's going on, and it's just it's the frequency just fucking with my eardrums, and it's a pulsating. So when I wake up, oh, this shit be so bad. But love, peace, and energy. Love, peace, and prosperity. Love, peace, and live your motherfucking life to the fullest. Let's stop bullshitting out here. All right, y'all. Yeah, that shit took all day to stop.